Welcome to Suncoast. I made this video back in uh, April 13, 2023. It was a walk in the Caressi district. It was a weekday, so there wasn't that much uh, traffic and that many pedestrians. I was walking my dog. And this pedestrian uh, district is very nice, uh, very fun to walk on the weekends. It's full of people uh, and families and so forth. And uh, it's kind of interesting because this area was uh, was the area where the old uh, factories used to be back in the communist days. And uh, they used to build uh, tractors and planes and what have you. And you could actually see some of the photos, old photos, of when this was uh, the factory, UTB, which stood for, uh, well, I'm not sure, Uzina Le Factories, Uzina. T transport brush off I guess I'm not sure what the T stands for anyway um, so uh, one of the developers Casper spell with a K built these particular buildings that you see in the video along the um, pedestrian walk and which is right across from the from the mall from the Caressi mall this is one of the main arteries that connects uh, the neighborhood. Oh, you can see a. Uh, this is where they used to fix the planes or build them, and uh, now they're converting this to a, uh, I guess like a, uh, um, a food hall. I'm not sure what uh, how that's going to be used in the future. Uh, probably some kind of entertainment and things they're going to bands and whatever they're going to bring. Okay, so here's my attempt at uh, translating the worker slogan that's painted across the uh, the building across the pedestrian walk and the problem is that the last part of it is fading away and I just can't read it so I'm not really sure what it says at the end but basically it says let us and this is addressed to the workers that are passing through every day let us thoroughly acquire the Soviet methods of work the guarantee of fulfillment and here's what I lose the information and I think it says state skills but I'm not sure sounds like something straight out of George Orwell's 1984 and this is the uh, hall that I was talking about I guess it's gonna be some kind of a spectacle thing uh, where they're gonna have concerts and what have you along the uh, walkway I have somebody waving um, Along the walkway, uh, pedestrian walk, there are all kinds of restaurants and people hang out and uh, have their coffee and tea and uh, breakfast and what have you. As we're walking uh, towards the mall, uh, that's where I'm walking. I'm walking with my, with my dog, who's not in the uh, video, but I'm walking towards the mall itself. This is a uh, hotel, Cosmo, and you can see Oshan on the other side, the electric buses, uh, pretty much all of the uh, public transportation in Brasov is electric now. This is the roundabout that they have. They have a lot of roundabouts in, uh, <laughs> in, in Romania, it seems. Uh, a plethora of roundabouts, I would say. Um, now this is going towards the mall. And uh, they have a very nice setup here for kids. It's uh, kids love it. Um, there's two two of these things. Um, I noticed that they're made in the Czech Republic, I think, and uh, they're made of some kind of hard plastic that resists weather, I suppose. I'm curious to see how long they're going to last. Uh, this is a vista of the parking lot uh, as we're looking at the stores that are separated, not the indoor stores. Uh, again, across the street here, they have a lot of uh, buses that uh, whenever they have uh, tours and so forth that stop, that's where they park them. And this is the uh, gym that I joined for a month back in April, and I loved it. It's uh, called Belacqua. Not very cheap. Um... It was 270 lays, which is the Romanian currency, roughly, well, divide that by about 4.5, and that gives you the, the amount of dollars, somewhere around, uh, 
I don't know, um, about 50 bucks or so, I suppose, more than 50 bucks, about 60. But, uh, and this is behind the, uh, behind Balacqua and uh, one of the uh, furniture stores. Again, a view of, uh, of the parking lot. They have a huge parking lot here, which is great. A little narrow, and one of the annoying things is that uh, cars park in spots where they shouldn't, and they kind of obstruct the uh, visibility, and that, that's very annoying to me. Um, all kinds of stores here. Uh, this is a furniture store. This is an electronics store. That's uh, great. I, I bought my TV set there. And uh, Pepco, which is one of my favorite stores. It's sort of a cheap store. That's uh, all kinds of fun things. Uh, yeah, entrance to Oshan. Uh, Fornetti. I'm not crazy about Fornetti. I just remember that uh, the T in UTB doesn't stand for transport. It stands for tractor. So it was the tractor factories in Brashov. I love these buildings, uh, the Casper business buildings. They've done a great job with that. This is uh, this is the entrance to the mall. A lot of uh, a lot of popular stores. Here we go. Another uh, one of the old tractors that was built in the uh, factories that that were here. And this is a new construction with uh, Pegasus. When I was a kid, we had a Pegasus bicycle. So I'm glad that they restored the brand. Um, little playgrounds all around. Uh, kids enjoy that. And in the background, you see another uh, set of buildings. Um, I think those are Qualis. It's another builder or urban. I'm not sure. One of the two. So there's different developers in the area. Um, another tractor. And this is the main entrance. And that's pretty much the end of the video. And I can't believe I spoke for seven minutes straight, straight without any... Uh, any uh, material. Well, here it is. Enjoy.